Oh, why? There we go. I'll zoom in. Hey, guys. Where's that blue line? Oh, that's right there. It's distracting. This blue line on here. It's. I taped this down, so I'm gonna have to. Let's cut this off. <laughs> I have this top paper taped down over that other one and it's just annoying so we'll just get rid of that blue <laughs> okay i lied i'll set it up real pretty because it takes a thumbnail hi zeely how y'all doing let's brighten this up let me get set up here there we go that's pretty good let's see uh anya beth Kalora, barbara zeely joy Penny girl Let's make a mess. <laughs> and Joey, Mitz, hi guys. Yeah, I'm just going to do, I'm going to work on this. Uh, I was going to work on it anyway. Um, so I said, well, I'll stream it because no one else, I don't think Xander comes on till I think somewhere around 4, 4.30, something like that. So I have her sketched out in sepia and white pencil on tone tan paper. Let me show you the paper here. And uh, it's on the mixed media paper. I used to just use the sketchbook paper, but it's thin. This right here is 184 pounds. So it's like cardstock rather than um, just the sketchbook paper. But I do my portraits on tone tan paper. Let's see. Oh, let me let me tweet. Let me tweet. Uh, oh, I didn't take a picture of that. <laughs> I guess I could just, uh, let me just throw this up here. Let me just take a quick picture. Uh, camera. Let's see. Okay. Photos. Let me crop that down so it fits. Just to throw something up there. All right. Let me tweet, guys. Hang on. So how's everybody doing today? Hi, Stephanie. Oh, you got your jelly, you got a jelly plate? Oh, I know they're so fun. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Michelle. Let me see here. Let me uh let me edit this picture a little. It's kind of dark. Whoops, no, I want to straighten it. Cancel that. Oh, I just want to brighten it up a little. Highlight. Yeah, that's pretty good. I just want to have something to tweet. How's everybody doing? I've been. I saw that last uh, digi thing you did, Eileen. I love the colors. Love the colors in that. Love it. Hang on, I got to answer this thing. Hang on, guys, got to answer this. Sorry, I should have done some of this before I hit live. <laughs> it was a page you painted that you used. Oh, it wasn't digi. Oh, did it was a background painted paper and you digied on it, Eileen? Is that what you did? Where am I? I'm lost here. <laughs> Not literally. But, uh, let's see. Going. Work on portrait. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Give me a minute. OK. 
can't spell either. Okay, there we go. Did I post the picture? Oh my gosh, did I bring up the picture? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I forgot to link the picture. Hi, Dini. Um, it's a, uh, it's say a commission. I've done uh, his, and he doesn't mind if I. He posts all his stuff on social media, so he doesn't care. I've done five of his grandchildren, four or five, four or five of his grandchildren portraits for four or five of his grandchildren. And so this is the newest one. Well, it's actually not the newest one. It's the late, the one that next one he wants me to do. So, um, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to work on this. Uh, let's see. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Kenneth. Holly. Hi, C C Christine. No, it's, you didn't oversleep until Monday. Can you all hear me okay? I just, I'm just threw this together. I threw this together. So, <laughs> you know, I usually uh, spend about 15 minutes getting ready uh, on a, my morning streams. This is, this is about five. <laughs> And my coffee's cold. Uh, so I just thought I'd work on this a little bit. I know Xandra's streaming later. I think she's, I asked, I didn't see her answer, but I think she streams somewhere around 4, 4.30, something like that on Sundays. Hi, Faithfulness. When the road back to Kentucky, reception is bad. I'll be alert. Okay, Faithfulness, lurk away and safe travels. Safe travels. Hi, Barbara, Holly. I'm sure I'm going to miss some people coming in. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and oh, I'm already getting comments. Let's see. Do I need this? Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead. All right. So I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to start with, I have her picture right here. Let me see if it'll show up. There's her picture. Probably flashed out my camera now. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's still good. <clears throat> So, um, yeah, I'm going to have, I have our picture right there. I'm going to work here. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. I think, uh, let's see. Let's zoom in a little couple more. Okay. There we go. That's probably good. Hopefully it's focused and, um, make sure y'all have live chat click and make sure you're on 720 or 1080 P whichever your system, if you want to see it in HD and sometimes YouTube clicks you back. You got to watch that. Sometimes with some, I will, I'll be watching people's videos and it got fuzzy and I'm going, what's wrong? Well, somehow it glitched and it's threw you back into 144 or something like that. So make sure you're in 720 or 1080p. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Mary Beth. Who else? Uh, Holly D. I'm sure I'm missing people coming in. Okay. So I have been doing pan pastels. I don't know what, about a year now or something um, and I don't have any bracelets on or anything today. I didn't, I, I feel naked. I, maybe, I, maybe I should throw on a bracelet. <laughs> I keep all my bracelets right here. I keep them all in a jar. Maybe I should throw on one of booze or something. Anyway, I keep them all right hand, right handy. So anyway, um, I, I, I've always done, uh, my portrait commissions in, uh, just color pencil. But, you know, when I started getting pan pastels, I did a few, probably maybe 20, 20 different, um, 20 different um, color book pages using pan pastel and pencil. Now, I don't just use pan pastels because the detail, I need pencil. So, um, but I've been practicing with the pan pastels for, I guess, about a year. And I've done a couple portraits. Let me go over to my IG here and on my phone. And let's see if I can bring up a couple. Y'all probably have all seen them all, but let's just make a point here. Let's make a point. Let me turn down the lighting. Uh, turn the lighting down too much on my phone. Um, so I've done tons in pan pastel. Here's probably one of my most recent ones. This one right here is a color book page in pan pastel. I can't get much closer because I'm so zoomed in already. But I've done a couple portraits. I did Kenny's granddaughter here. If y'all want to just go on to Instagram, you'll see them better. So here was one of my uh, portraits with pan pastels. I did do Faithful Mess, who is here. Let me see if I can find, find I, I call her our Faithful Mess. Here she is. There's our Faithful Mess because she's our Faithful Mess. <laughs> so I did this portrait of Faithful Mess. Uh, let's see. I did do Edwin's little puppy Zuzu right here. Again, guys, you can see him better if you just go over there to um, 
go over to Instagram. But the but I've been practicing with Pam Pastels for probably about a year. Here's a color book page. There's a here's a color book page again, guys. I can't get any closer because uh, I'm already so zoomed in. So let's see who's here. AJ Joy. Anybody I miss? Painty. I said hi to Painty Girl CB. Hi, Lena. So anybody I miss coming in? Um, I think this one I did. Um, this was Connie's Bearded Dragon, but I think I did this one in just paint, paint and color pencil. I don't think I used any pan pastels on her Bearded Dragon. Let's see what else do I have here that we've done with paint pastels. Pan pastels. There's a lot. And I always mention it. I always say what I use or try to. Uh, pan pastels, pencil, paint, whatever I use. So if you go over on Instagram, you can see a bunch more. All right. So I'm going to get crack a lack in here. So I sketched it out, um, sepia and white. Uh, and and regardless of whether I do uh, pan, pan pastel or pencil, I like to find the highlights. That's the first thing I do on my portraits. You can do it however you want, but uh, hi, Janet. But, uh, you know, Janet, oh, can I show Janet? Can I show your, uh, you haven't sent me the newest one, Janet, but uh, Janet's been working on a portrait. Can I show it, Janet? Where is it? Let's see. <clears throat> Let me go back here. Let's make sure she says yes. I'm sure she's, she's probably shown it on her show, too. But she's, was it before Christmas that, yeah, here it is. So here's the one that Janet's been working on. Oh, uh, hang on. And she's, she's doing two different ones. And it's not finished. You haven't worked out. She's doing this twice. She's doing it for two different people. But this is one Janet's working on. And um, so I, I was telling her, we were talking about using, you know, white on, she wants to use a tone tan paper next. And so that's why we we're talking about uh, using white on tone tan paper. So anytime I start a portrait, I always pick out the highlights. Even if I'm going to do, even if I'm going to do my pan pastel, I still want my highlights picked out. It, it's just, I just do. I, I, you know, I don't know. Different people do different ways. So she has a lot of highlights. She has very light blonde hair, very light blonde hair. And uh, so I want to pick out these highlights first. And I'm I'm not saying I'm going to finish this while we're here, but I'm going to work on it. So Eileen goes, is anybody streaming it as well? I'll turn on the camera, Eileen. So, <laughs> and I'm still, of course, I'll stream tomorrow's my usual day. Her hair comes up around her chin right in here. She has little flicks of hair coming around her chin. And I think he said that his uh, daughter, I don't know if it's the mom of this uh, grandchild, but his daughter takes these pictures. Um, and they're awesome, beautiful pictures of the grandchildren. And that's what I work from are her photographs. And so I'm just going to kind of get this sketched in here. She has just a few little wispy bangs. Most of her hair is kind of pulled up from her bangs pulled up now it's darker right in here but i want to just pick out the highlights so that's what i'm doing first um yeah jan is doing awesome on that and it's and it's for um one of her relatives and she wants to do two because she wants one for each of the two people that the baby will uh you know uh, re related to oh uh, let's see it's a little bit of a bonus. Hi, Ian. I gotta, I gotta hang on. I gotta get a little chip in my nail here. Let me file that down. Okay. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, she has she has a highlight on her shoulder. And again, then I'm gonna go over this with pan pastels and stuff. Let's see, this shoulder, hmm, I think, I need the highlight to be pretty much on top there. I sketched that in with the brown too, but it, she needs a highlight there. Okay, so now I'm going to just pick out all the highlights 
let me zoom in a little on her little face here. Come on, there we go. Um, I should kind of maybe I should erase some of my sketchy face lines here. You know where I uh, kind of divided up her face a little. I don't want that too noticeable, although it's going to get covered up. So, all right. So I'm going to pick out the highlights here. And I do have my sharpeners here. I got them all like right here. Sharpeners, erasers, this eraser, all kinds of just stuff. So anyway, uh, what's everybody else doing today? Is anybody working on anything fun? Let me sharpen because I want to get the little light in her eyes. Maybe can y'all see okay? Do I need to zoom in even more? If I zoom in too much, we're going to lose some clarity, but I, it, you can't hardly see if I don't. That's better right there, I think. If you don't have pan pastels, what do you use? A uh, pencil. Just pencils. That's what I've always used for, I won't say how many years. Janet and I know how many years we've used pencils. <laughs> Right, Janet? Uh, but yeah, uh, with, I, I would just use just pencil. No, uh, that's what I did until up until, what, about, a, I think it's about a year that I've been using, maybe a year and a half that I've been using pan pastels uh, as a base. But before that, it was all pencil. I'll show y'all, let me pull, I won't show it right now, but I'll pull out some of my, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh, all pencil work here. On some of my other portraits, I'll just show you one right now, just because. <laughs> but I have a here's a stack of stuff right here. I'll show you some of this in a little bit. But I'll show you this one I did. I did this one in two thousand. It's just on top. Did this one in two thousand sixteen uh, uh, at jury duty when I was waiting for jury duty. <laughs> I did this one in two thousand sixteen, and this is all pencil. So there's no pan pastel. This is all pencil. And all my portraits that I'm going to show you in a little bit when I take a break, they're all pencil. <laughs> I love this one. So anyway. <laughs> well, I take that back. No, that is pencil too. I was going to say that might be some paint, but that's pencil too. <laughs> I love that one too. So I'll show you some of my portraits here in a little while. I want to get to work on <laughs> So anyway, now I see you laughing at me, Mary Beth. Uh, so now, um, now that I have um, practiced some and done a few portraits and some color book uh, faces and stuff with uh, pan pastels, I feel you know a little more competent with them. But you know, I had to learn. Uh, I had to learn them as well, just like you know, um, just like I had to do with pencils. So I'm just gonna. Get in here and get some of the eyes blocked in. She has beautiful blue eyes. Beautiful blue eyes. Hi, whimsical one. Anybody else I missed? Aunt Beck? I know I'm probably missing people coming in. <clears throat> so you can see, look how already Janet and anybody, I'm just saying Janet because we were talking about uh, picking out those highlights right at the beginning. Look out, look out already, Janet. Can you see how, how the shape, the form comes out just by, look at how little that pencil is. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Jeannie. Uh, so, so just picking out your highlights really helps you just to see and shape things um, a lot easier than just trying to go in there with shadows right off the bat or color right off the bat, right? So let's get her little no nose in here. And you have the, the mid-tone of the paper already established for you. Y'all need to try it. I'm telling you. You don't have to do a full-on portrait to 
enjoy this. You know, if, if at the very least, print out one of your favorite color book pages, print out one of your favorite color book pages on a toned tan paper and practice. You, you'll, be, you'll surprise yourself, I'm telling you. You will surprise yourself. And how you'll go, wow, look what I can do. <laughs> you know? Uh, oh, Priscilla, good. Yeah, I don't do many weekend streams. So, um, you know, because there's a lot of other streamers too. And again, you know, like I said, Xandra's, Xandra probably stream, I think, around, I think it's 4 or 4.30 because she's changed it a couple of times, you know, when she's had to go out of town and different things. So, um so right under her nostrils, it's really bright. I know, you know, they're little, um, that little, I don't know. Why, why do I want to say fulcrum? <laughs> That's not what it is. That little space above your lip right there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so if you pick out your whites, or, well, I say with white highlights, you will um you'll you'll just be able to uh find everything easier <laughs> cupid's bow yeah it's a cupid's bow but there's a there's a scientific name for it there's a scientific name for that cupid's bow um somebody said it the other day i don't remember now but uh <laughs> and they're just little noses are so cute when they're little did the little baby nose with the little baby nose, little dimples. Mm -hmm. uh, Filtrum. Okay, what is it? Fulcrum. <laughs> Thanks, Gina. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so she's got a lot of highlights here. around her eye here i'll put her uh I, her irises and stuff in here in a minute so because i know that kind of creeps people out though you can see some in her eyes there so it's not like you know i know some people get kind of creeped out when they can't see the eyeballs <laughs> right away <laughs> so and this comes out a little more she's got a little more shape to that side of her face a little cheek comes out here and then this is all our hair over in there. Chin comes up just a little more there, a little more highlight there. And she's got, and this right here is her um, her dress, just the straps on her dress. A little highlight here on her neck. And her dress is red. <clears throat> I'll just get right up under that chin. And then she has, you can see a little bit of her collarbone, just a little bit right there. Oh, thank you, Desert Nana, for the super chat. I think you meant it's what it came up as a dollar ninety-nine. I'm not sure what you put in, but thank you, Desert Nana. You got two amounts there. <laughs> thank you so much. You're so sweet. Uh, you were close. I was close to what, Kalora? I, I missed something. I was close. I was close. Let's see. Oh, key. oh yeah. Yeah, fulcrum and the, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, Desert Nana. All right, let's keep rolling here. And um, so... Sometimes I just kind of quit talking because I get in a thought, you know, I think, okay, now this cheek needs to be a, you know, and that, that thought takes precedent over, you know, my motor skills. So I'll stop talking for long enough just to, just to uh, get that little section in there. So, um, the white pencil is Prisma. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. It's what all my pencils that you're going to see me use are Prisma color. Prisma color pencils. And of course, Pan Pastels are that is the brand name, Pan Pastels. 
So, yeah. All right, let's see here. Let's bring her little cheek in here. And really, this part you really want to kind of take your time on because it's really, it's shaping the face. It's it's making the shape of the face. So you really want to kind of, you know, not rush through this. Of course, you know, I've done hundreds. So, it, you know, and some are better than others. Well, some of the ones I'm going to show you, that these those are just my practice. The ones that uh, they're not commissioned. Um, they're just p pieces that I've done either with a sketchy group or just, you know, some are um, some are movie stars that Hubster liked, and I would uh, uh, draw them for him. So they're not really commissions, but because uh, you know you can see my commissions; they're on Facebook and Instagram. But you know they get the originals, so um, yeah. <laughs> So let's see who else is popping in. Hi, Joyce B. Uh, hi, Blue Petal Media. Hi. Hi, Susan J. Anybody else? I'm looking up every now and then. Uh, hi, Time to Be Creative. Time with T-H-Y-M-E. That's very clever. Time to Be Creative. I don't know if I follow you. I'll have to go. Uh, yeah, white pencil. White pencil. Okay, so let's see. Do I have enough yet? I think I need a little bit more forehead here. Under her eyebrow. And I can, you know, add more as I go along. It's not like, oh, I've got, I can't add any more highlights now. You know, it doesn't work that way. You can continuously add them. I just like to kind of find them. I kind of just like to find them right off the bat, you know. <clears throat> and I'm sure other artists do things different or their own way. And so I'm not saying this is the only way or even the best way. I'm just saying this is my way. <laughs> this is my way. Uh, time was logged into my other account. Oh, oh, it's Painty Girl. Oh, I didn't know you had another account name. Okay, Painty Girl. All right. Um, let's see. So um, I think Hubster's going to put in the sweet potatoes. We're having salmon and sweet potatoes today, so we'll see how long. It takes about an hour and a half for sweet potatoes, or at least a good hour. But uh, I'm trying to eat healthier. I have been walking every day. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't log it. I mean, I don't show it. I don't post it every day. All right, I'm going to get a dark gray and let me get um, her eyes uh, outlined. I don't post my watch stats every day, but it, you know, I do keep them. I keep my watch stats every day of my, um, they're almost black, but I want to, don't want to do black. I want to do my dark, dark gray. Um, that's not even going to be dark enough. Let's try this. There we go. Do I want a warm gray? I'd rather have a cool gray. And let's have an ASMR moment. Um, so I have been walking every day. Here we go. This one. Oh no. Do I really need this darker one? It's a warm gray, but maybe I'll maybe I'll talk. Um uh, at least a mile, a little over a mile. Oh, thanks, Gina. I walk a little over a mile. I might have to stop talking for a minute. Every day, except, for, and, and I've been doing that for, a, and I mean, I used to walk all the time, but I got out of the habit. And um, so, um, so, but for the last five weeks, I have been walking and trying to eat healthier. And not like I need to lose a lot of weight or anything, but I have lost 12 pounds. So, uh, and I'm, you know, just trying to eat healthier and walk and get into, you know, get into better shape. So I've been doing that every day for five weeks. Um, and I want to keep it up because I just feel good when I'm walking. And I did do a little quick little post yesterday on Twitter. I don't, you know, it's hard for me to 
I'm not good at I'm not good at filming. <laughs> I'm not good at filming while I'm walking and moving. You know, I can barely take my phone and walk around my studio and film film for you guys. And yeah, I just I don't know. It's just uh, it doesn't come natural to me to um, film while I'm uh, walking. <laughs> so I try a couple of little things here and there, but I'm not a I'm not a vlogger. You know, I'm just sit here and work kind of person. Uh, but yeah, all right. I am going to get black so that I can do the pupil here. <laughs> Thanks. And then also, because her eyes are so blue, let me go ahead and do that real quick. Um, let me get my, I think because I can get in that right there. I want to get out my little sketchy line there because it's kind of in brown. So I want to get rid of that because I want her, I want to put a base of white down because her eyes are like crystal blue. So I want to put a um, coat of white down and then I'll put the blue on top of it just so um, it's very vibrant. If I just put the blue on the brown, it won't be as vibrant as if I put the white down first. So I'm going to put the white down, then I'll put blue on top of it. We'll get to the pan pastels in a minute. I do too. Don't y'all like Edwin's? Uh, yeah, let's see. Edwin um, walks. Uh, Elliot, the jerkmonger, walks. Sometimes Doug Tenable walks. Who else is walking? Mike, Mike um, S. Miller walks occasionally. And uh, so, and, and then they all live in different places. Well, let's see. I think Doug's in Tennessee. Mike is in California. Um, Jerkmonger's in Florida, Elliot. Uh, uh, Edwin is in Hawaii. So it's kind of like kind of cool. I just I just hashtag it artist walk. But it's you don't have to be an artist to do it. I just hashtag that because there's a whole bunch of artists walking. And um, and I'm sure most of them probably walk a couple of miles. I'm only walking a mile at a time, a little over a mile. I'm working up to two miles at a time. And it only takes about 20 minutes, depending. And I walk kind of brisk. I have long, wide, you know, take big steps. Uh, and I only walk about, uh, you know, pretty, you know, kind of brisk. And it only takes me like 20 minutes to walk a mile. Now, it's just a little bit further than a mile to go all the way down the end of my street and back and all the way down the end of my street and back. And that's a little over a mile. And I do that every day. Hi, Julie. Happy Sunday. Hi, G. So I do that every day. Um, usually after I stream it on stream days and, uh, try to get that walk in, uh, every day. I have an elliptical too. So like if it's a rainy day or something, I, I've, there's only been a couple, maybe three or four days that, in the last five weeks that I really couldn't walk because of the rain or, and even on the days when I think that meet, we took mom to the museum and different things. I still try to get home and even though, I've already have my eight to 10,000 steps. I will still, I'll still walk anyway. So just because I have my steps in doesn't mean I don't want to walk. I still walk or try to, unless it's raining. Um, you're walking too. Okay. Oh, good. Anybody that's walking and if you're on Twitter, post that you're walking, you know, you don't have to post your stats. Like I, and I don't do it every day. That's people get bored with that. Just seeing the same thing over and over. So I post one every week or two weeks. So just, you know. All right. So now let me go ahead and get her pupils in here. But. Uh, yeah. But it's just, it's, an, it's encouraging when you have other people doing it as well and uh and like i said the, the the guys that i mentioned they all do little videos they'll do like 20 30 minute little videos it's just hard for me to walk and talk and and not look like it's going you know like i need a guy gyroscope you know <laughs> uh, yeah exactly julie exactly hi colleen um, Eileen says she walks through Amazon at least three times a day. <laughs> and Eileen, Boca Raton. I mean, I, I don't know if you're able to get out and really walk, Eileen. 
you know, because I know you've had some things happen to you, and I don't know if you can you can actually do it. But uh, yeah, you can at least sit outside, Eileen. Sit outside in Boca Raton and walk through Amazon three times a day. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So let's see now. What do I want to do next? I think I'll go ahead and put in some blue. I picked out some colors. If, if you saw when I first came on, I had some pencils laid out. So I did pick some colors. I did pick out some pan pastels. All right. So her, her pupils are so ice blue. They're almost white. So let's go ahead and get these in here. And I'm going to get the shadow. Now, y'all know that, you know, I can't get in here with pan pastels, uh, th these tiny little areas. Of course, I will do her eyelashes and everything else after I get in. Um, I need a little bit of peach color. No, I think I need henna. Is this henna? Which is this one? Is this henna? No, that's beige. I need henna. Well, I don't know. That beige might that might be good enough to get the little shadow in, in the eye here. Whoops, it broke. Hang on. I'm just resharpen that. <laughs> no, I don't use any blenders. Well, now when I'm using the pan pastel, I use the tools. Where's my toolbox? I didn't even pull my toolbox. I have a toolbox of stuff for, um, you know, sponges for my, my uh, what do you call it, tools? Pan pastel tools, but I don't use any color pencil blender. I never have. I don't like it. I've, I've, I can't say I've never have. I've shown how to use it a couple of times. I just don't like it. So even though I probably have a couple blenders around here, I have a luminance blender. Or I think I have a, uh, a Prismacolor blender and uh, not a Polychromos. What's the other one? Anyway, two or three different kinds of blenders, but I don't use them. It just, it kind of smashes the paper down, you know, and I don't like that. Once you smash your paper down, there's no going back, you know. That's why you always have to use light, um, a light touch with your pencils. And again, we're going to get into the pan pastels in a minute, but I just wanted to Get a little bit established here. <clears throat> All right, let's go to this eye. And again, I'm going over the white that I laid down. And then I like my blue shadows on the lids. And then under the eye, it'll be like more of a peachy color shadow in there. <clears throat> Just to get it started here. All right. Then I need to go back with dark. And this is very, um, her eyes are almost outlined in black. It's hard to. I mean, I can show you the picture again, but um, it's like her her uh, irises are like lined in black. Her eyes are so blue. Oops, pushed a little too hard there. Oops, now I've got a little smudgy thing there. Let's see if I can, uh, where it popped. White. All right, let me check chat here in just a minute. Okay, who am I missing? Suze, disorganized crafter. <laughs> I love that name. Does say hi to you, Colleen? Hi, Colleen. Oh, I do buy, I do have a few books. Oh, maybe I'll show those tomorrow. I'll hold off on the books for tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, Shauna. I did get, I did go to uh, Books a Million yesterday. I didn't have, I didn't go to Barnes and Noble this last week. That's up by Denise's and we went up and down, you know, 75 
through Atlanta enough times over the holidays to last me a little while. Colleen does not need any more books. Um, no, but I'll let me, I will show you here. I'll just take a little break. Y'all know we go on these rabbit trails. Uh, I'll take a quick break just so I can show you one thing. I won't show. I won't show it much. I'll just show a little bit. Where do I put it? Oh, let me move my pan pastels. Let me move my pastels to the floor. This is why the cats are out of here. I will show you this, guys. If you don't have the new art journaling magazine, and I know I'm really zoomed in here, but our Packer die is in this one. So um, let's see. Let me find the page. Packer die. Where are you? 94. So, yeah, if you haven't got this one, Packer Die, you know, she's in these, she's in the art journaling magazine occasionally. So, if y'all see her anywhere, uh, Facebook or wherever, uh, I think she's got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She's got eight pages. She's got eight pages in here. So, and it's an article. So, she writes about her process and stuff. If y'all have not seen her, uh, if you've not seen her um, in any of the others. So you need to pick this up just because a pack or die. She's got her tips here. Let me read one. Let's pick out a random one. It is very easy to become overwhelmed with a ton of magazine images once you start collecting. I hear you, girl, uh, to use for collage. I store all my saved images in plastic drawer units organized by subject. Some of these subjects are people, flowers, watches, jewelries, indoor, outdoors, and animals and insects. See, we all divide them up, you know, into something. Well, I should say I used to do that more. <laughs> and I, I found for me, and I've seen Packer Die use her stuff. So this really works for her. She's really good or very organized in her um, so collection, selection, you know, the way she stores it and everything. And I, I have tried this multiple times with all those little drawers. You know, y'all saw I've shown it before when I had them all divided up in 12 different drawers. And I found I wasn't going in there and using them. So I ended up just dumping them all in bins and now I dig through. So except for like I have a, a watches are separated, um, you know, some color. I have a few things that are separated out, but the bulk of my collage fodder is just in bins. <laughs> and I'm not recommending that. I am not recommending that. If you if you're starting in collage, you want to do it pack or dies way. But anyway, so this is the January, February issue. Some It's uh, put out by Stampington, the same people that do Somerset Studio and multiple other magazines. So if you want to support Packer Dye being in here, then get that. All right. That's all I'm going to show you for now because, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's see who else is popping in here. I'm sure I'm missing some people. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for the thumbs up, guys. Uh, guys. We have 123 people on a Sunday afternoon, which that's a lot because, you know, Sunday afternoon, this is not my stream time anyway. 37 likes. We need some more likes. <laughs> oh, there they go. <laughs> Thanks. And you know what, guys? And, and I'm, I kid you because I do the same. When I go to other people's streams, I forget. I'm so absorbed into watching what they're doing when someone goes, oh, give them a thumbs up. Then I do because I forget. You know, I forget. Hi, Devin. Um, I just forget as well. So I'm half kidding you guys. You know, <laughs> I love you guys. All right. Well, let me just go ahead and show you a few. I'll just flip through a few here. Um, and I pulled out, you know, some of my uh, different uh, different sizes. I have two sizes here. Well, I actually have three sizes. I have a couple of 12 by 12s. Then these are 9 by 9 by 11, 8, uh, 9 by 11. No, 9 by 12. What are they? What are they? 9 by, 9 by 12. And then I have um, some smaller ones here. And these are 5 by 7, I think. So I'll flip through these and show you some. Um, so these are the small ones for us. And again, most of these are like from Sketchy. And what Sketchy is, and I haven't been around them in, gosh, so long. I feel bad sometimes, but I've just been so busy. But if you want, um, if you want a place to find faces to draw, what it is, a Sketchy group, they every, and you can upload your own face too. 
you upload or anybody can upload their faces and then artists draw them. And if you go on the, it's an app. Uh, if you go on the sketchy app, you can see, like, I haven't even been on mine in so long, guys. Where, I go, here it is. Uh, I haven't even been, but it looks like this. It's sketchy. And um, um, I have to allow, I don't even know on my new phone. I don't want notifications anyway. All right, let me go to my profile. Okay, so here is. Here you can go to my go to sketchy and just look up Dee Dee Willingham and you can see all the ones that I've drawn and posted here. So what you do is you and you can I, I don't know what the rules are anymore, but you used to be able to post non uh, people that didn't upload their faces. You could post other things too. But anyway, um, so the bulk of these are people that have posted their faces for you to draw them, right? So I'm just going to kind of flip it. Speaking of Packer Dye, there's an old picture Packer Dye drew when she had her longer hair and it was red. <laughs> it's one of my pictures. So these are um, these are just pictures that I've drawn over. You know, these some of these were these are 2015, and. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of flip through them. And again, these are five by seven. So they're pretty small. And uh, just to kind of show them to you. Hi, Laura. Anybody else popping in? I know, know y'all have seen these. Hi, Joey. Y'all have seen these. I've posted them. I mean, I've shown them, you know, a few times. But, uh, yeah. Probably more than a few. Eileen's probably going, you probably showed them more than a few. But, you know. Just to show you that I all and these are all pencil. Now this like this is paint right here. The black is paint. Same thing for his hat. That's black paint. That's pencil. But um, you know, if I have a nice solid black, I usually put that in with uh, paint. Just so you know, I don't want to have to sit there and scrub my black pencil down to a nub when I can just do it with uh, pencil. I mean, a uh, paint. So these are just different ones that I've drawn over the years. And uh, just to show you that, you know, you get a lot of practice in. <laughs> get a lot of practice. <clears throat> Hi, Lori Loves Montana. Hey, Edwin. I've been trying to convince to publish a sketch. I know. He has. He's been after me. Publish a sketchbook. But, um, you know. <laughs> So these are some of the, and, and hi, Ed, when we were talking about you earlier, somebody was saying that they like watching your walk videos. And I was saying that there's you, Jerkmonger, Elliot, Doug Tenaple, Mike Miller. Um, I'm trying to think of everybody that's doing walking. And uh, so, yeah, so, whoops, you know, these are stuck together here. So... This is one of my favorites. I love this because you can't really see it unless you really are zoomed in. I don't know if I can zoom in, but she has she's holding a selfie stick and it's reflected in her eyes. I can't get any closer, but um, she's holding a selfie stick and you see the stick and her phone in her eyes. So, yeah. Tattoo artist working. And here's Sister Woman, Jonna. <laughs> and then these are just random. Ran these others are random people. This is APG Jamie. Mm -mm. So I'm just going to flip through here real quick. Different ones. Some of these are friends. This is a friend's daughter. This is a friend of mine on Facebook. And then I don't know why this, uh, this one's in there. There's Darcy. And I don't know why this random uh, Inktober is in there, but it is. So, the <laughs> and then now these are the these are the larger ones, and these are nine by eleven. So, thanks, Colleen. And again, I did this one. There's two. I did two different ones uh, in 2016 on jury duty. <laughs> this was one of the ones I did on jury duty. Mom's gonna lay them out here real quick. Hopefully, the camera won't flash out too much. And uh, yeah, and I am zoomed in, so they are kind of close. So this is the other one I did on jury duty. I did him, and they're all on tone tan paper. This is one of my favorites too. I love her pink hair and the reflection of the sky in her goggles. So you like the starfish? 
So they might be a little flashed out, but hopefully not. And then I've got some that I've done uh, quite a few YouTubers. I haven't done them in a while. For a while, I was doing them every couple of months. But this is Gazbot, YouTuber Gazbot. I'm trying to get the whole thing in there. And, of course, this is an old Bailey J. This is before she even had pink hair. This is an old Bailey J, 2015. Here's Doug. I don't know. Have you seen this one, uh, 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 Edwin? <laughs> did this one and i know i don't know i don't know if people notice in his glasses look his character is in his glasses <laughs> anyway there's uh there's doug um and so and this is uh an uh author and then this this is the um as, as far as i know he is still the um i don't know if he's the owner or the administrator of sketchy Vin, so there's that, and here's a Shannon Green. Here's uh, this is um, our Vicky Planner Vicky. This is um, Estelle, Will, Will Terry. This is an old Will Terry, he's lost a lot of weight, and uh, he lost his wife last year. And, and he lost a lot of weight, and he has since, I think he's since remarried. So, uh, thank you. And then this is a cosplayer, Yaya Han. So, I did a couple of Yaya Han. Uh, what else did I do here? If y'all remember, this was this is an old one. We did this. This was a class um, on U, Ustream years ago, as was this one of Darcy um, uh Darcy UK. Oh, there's a little puppy. Some more different ones from Sketchy. <clears throat> so <laughs> more Sketchy girls. And they these girls, they put their pictures up on Sketchy for you to draw them. That's why they do it. And then, you know, they just get a, they just like them, that you've drawn them, you know. Uh, this is my friend's daughter. This is my daughter, Annie. This one is, um, y'all know him, uh, Barb's son, uh, called Hot Son. <laughs> That's Barb's son. Here's uh, one, one of Denise. Here's another one of Annie. Um, then some of, now I'm getting into my Gold Rush guys. These are some of my Gold Rush crew. Um, y'all know I love my, uh, the show Gold Rush. Now they're kind of random. Let's see if I can go get to the Gold Rush one. Let's see, there's more in here, but they're back here. Well, here's Parker's dog. He's uh his name is Dozer. And uh, I, I love the show Gold Rush. And these are from 2015, mostly 14 and 15. There's a couple in here from 16, but I drew at the time I had drawn 25 or 30 of the crew. There was like 25 or 30 of them, and I drew them all. Uh, but now since then. And the last three years after Todd left and, you know, they got new people in. I haven't drawn the new people. I haven't drawn the new people. Um, but uh, this was one of the producers. Here's one of the guys from Gold Rush. This guy uh, has passed away. He passed away during the show back in, I think, 2015. Uh, here's Cheese Man. And I did repost this one on Friday night because he came back. Uh, so I posted that again. Rick. And then here's the grandpa. This is Parker's grandfather. I'm sorry, guys, are kind of like cropped in there because of the, <laughs> so they're kind of cropped in. Um, this is Parker's grandfather. I did this as a tribute to him when he passed away. And I did put the date. I did uh, uh, Photoshop in the date here, his name and the date when he passed away. So if you look at it on uh, Instagram or Twitter, all the information about his life, you know, is right there. Uh, here's the guys. These are the guys from Oak Island. If y'all watch Oak Island, here's another. These are some more guys from uh, Gold Rush. Gold Rush. And um, uh, he he commissioned me to do his portrait, just him, and not him, not the two of them together. So I did, uh, and I don't have it because obviously I sent it. And he sent me a gold nugget. So I thought that was nice. I got a gold nugget. Um, let's see. These are all gold. These are all gold rush guys, all from the crew. 
over the years. Like I said, I did a lot, I did a lot of gold rush guys, and I posted them all. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, of course I use reference pictures. I don't have these guys' faces memorized. Yeah. <laughs> No, of course I use reference. Uh, you can't do a portrait, a, a realistic portrait without uh, without references. Yeah, you, you don't do portraits without references. Not a realistic one. You know, I mean, you can do sketches if you can remember what they look like. Or you can do quick sketches. I have lots of things where I've done quick sketches just, you know, on the fly, sitting outside, walking in the museum, you know, things like that. But to do a realistic you know, hours and hours and hours of work portrait. You got to have reference material. Yeah. So anyway, and then there's Parker. Um, and so, you know, just all the different guys here. And then Todd asked me to draw him with Reagan one time. So I drew uh, Todd. And a lot of their family members, a lot of the family members from Gold Rush have commissioned me to do uh, do their portraits and their kids and their relatives. I've done quite a few different ones of um, husband and wife because, you know, the wives aren't on there, you know, but they want the wives or wedding pictures or things like that. There's another one of Rick. This is another guy from Oak Island. And now I think, oh, wait, here, this is an old one. I did this one back in 2014 when Parker, when his grandfather was still alive. That's Parker when he was really young and his grandfather. And then here's Tony and Monica. They're still on the show. Tony and Monica Beats. And then her two brothers uh, are in it too, but I haven't drawn her brothers. And then here's Todd and his dad. Um, these were like the or original team on Gold Rush. They're no longer on it. But anyway, so there's that. So those are all the Gold Rush guys. And then I have some random... This is what we're working on now. If you're just joining us, I'm working on this portrait here. I did a rabbit trail. Um, but could I? No. I couldn't draw these people without looking at a picture. I, could, I couldn't I could draw my husband without looking at a picture. I don't, I don't have a photographic memory. Yeah, I don't think many people have a photographic memory <laughs> where you can picture every eyelash and every, you know, Nuance it, no. Uh -uh. So anyway, uh, Nichelle Nichols from, if y'all remember on Star Trek, the original Star Trek, this is her more recently. Although this was done, I did this in 2015. So this one's five years old and she's a lot older now. I don't even know if she does comic cons anymore. I don't know. I think she did one last year. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what I did. And here's Doc when uh, from uh, Back to the Future, and then Ben Hur, um, Charlton Heston has been Hur. These uh, this I did for Hubster, and then this is Hut Pulitzer from he was on. Uh, he's a uh, uh, the treasure hunter. I always talk about the guy that I have the treasure hunting books. That's him. Scott Walter, you might recognize him from the History Channel. I, You know, these guys used to be really active in social media, and I'd be talking to them all the time about history, you know, archaeology and treasure hunting. And then they kind of just, I don't know. I, Scott Walter, I still see him every now and then on Twitter, but he's not, like, active, that active anymore. But anyway, uh, so they're kind of my Internet friends. <laughs> I don't really talk to him anymore. Uh, here's one of, of Spock, young and old Spock. Of course, uh, my uh, uh, Sean Connery. Uh, let's see what else do I have here. I'll show these two last. Here's uh, Richard. Um, oh, what's his name? Uh, I did again. I did this one for Hubster. Uh, what's his name? Wh no, I keep wanting to say Richard Widmar, but that's not it. Richard. Um, oh, somebody help me out here. Eileen. <laughs> I can't think of his name right now, uh, but I did this one for Hubster as well. Um, Oh, Robert Mitchum. Thank you, Kalora. Robert Mitchum. And then this one is from, um, he's, I uh, did a, uh, him from, uh, Lawrence of Arabia. And I, and again, I, his, his, his name's escaping me too. Again, I did that one for Hubster as well. And then I did these two for me. Um, and I was going to draw all of the walking dead characters. So I started doing them. Omar Sharif. Thank you, Christine. Omar Sharif. So I really wanted to do all the walking dead characters. 
right? Because Walking Dead films like five miles from my house up to about between five and 30 miles, depending on where they're filming. They film real close to me. And, uh, and so I was got into Walking Dead because of Annie, my daughter. And so about, I don't know which season it was. It must have been season three was coming out, was getting ready to start. And Annie goes, have you ever watched The Walking Dead? I said, nah, I didn't want to watch a bunch of zombies. And she goes, oh, you need to watch it. And maybe it was it was either three or four. I can't remember which season. And she and I said, nah, I don't want to watch that. She goes, really, you got to watch it. So I started, I, so it just so happened that the day before season four was going to start, they, they did a uh, marathon of season one, two, and three. So Hubster and I binge watched season one, two, and three for like, I don't even know how many hours that was. Of course, you can fast forward through commercials, you know. But anyway, so we binge watched all of season one, two, and three, and then started watching it season four. So I said, I want to, I'm going to start drawing all the, uh, all the uh, characters from Walking Dead. So these two are from 2016, Daryl and Glenn. So the, and then what happened was, <laughs> that's a, what happened was the way, and I know y'all know, I'm not going to say it, how they killed off Glenn, the way they killed off Glenn was the last show I ever watched of The Walking Dead. Now, I, I mean, I still see, you know, I still see, uh, uh, you know, screenshots and, you know, clips and stuff all over the internet. I still see clips of it. But I have not watched any Walking Dead since the way they killed off Glenn. So, yeah. But anyway, so that's the only two I got done. These are the only, <laughs> these are the only two that I uh, did back in 2016 and then I stopped watching it. So anyway, so there's some of my, uh, these are just the ones that I have on hand because again, any commissions, any commissions get uh, sent. So the originals get sent to the person, you know? So anyways, we should get back to work. All right, let's put all these down. So there's a little, there's a little flip. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I know me too, Lulu. I just couldn't watch it. Okay. So let's get back to drawing her. Um, hi, Kenny. Who else am I missing? Are you okay, Kenny? I haven't seen you around for a while. Hi, Judy, Mama Four, Carol, Carola, Carola. Hi, Carola. Anybody else I miss coming in? Hi, Julie Topaz. Yeah, well, I didn't think I'd like it, but there's really a good story to it, especially, I mean, like the first three seasons, you know, when you when you met, um, I don't know, I won't get into it all now, but I, I really enjoyed the first three or four seasons, and I think they changed directors or producers or they changed something. Anyway, and it, it just, right, I wasn't different writers, but I don't know, but anyway, it wasn't the same. And I just kind of just, but the first three or four seasons, if you ever get to watch them, it really has good story. It really has good story to it. Hi, Danny girl. Hi, Louise. Hi, Molly. So, Kenny, I guess you're okay because you're here, but I hadn't seen you for a while. Okay, so let's go back now. Um, all right, let me get back in here in her pupils. And... Um, get those nice and dark and then what I'll do is I like to use a Posca pen for the high high highlights so I don't I probably shouldn't do this till after I do the pan pastel I might regret doing this I might have to go back and do it again but anyway I want those bright highlights in her eyes she has I mean her eyes are just stunningly blue all right so now I'm going to go in here with a little bit let, let me let that dry for just a second you don't want to smear that white that uh wet Posca oh uh, you'll email me are you okay I hope you're all right Kenny I just hadn't seen you in a while 
So one, you know, kind of worry. I don't want to say worry, but wonder. I have seen uh, Vani been uh, back around, um, and that's good. She changed her uh, Twitter picture. She actually put a, she gave herself a face. I love it when people give themselves a face, <laughs> an actual face. And uh, so Vani is so pretty. I thought, oh, Vani, I love your, I love your uh, Avi. It was so nice to see your face. Okay, so I'm going to stop on the eyes for now. Oh, the other thing that I will end up doing, I'll go ahead and do it now, is I'm going to want just that extra little bright in the in the white of the eye that's right next to the pupil. It's not the whole white. Don't just color that in solid. But um, there's usually a nice, really bright highlight right on the edge of the pupil in the whites of the eyes, especially young people. Young people don't have a lot of, you know, age to their eyes. They don't have red in their eyes or they're not, you know, shadowed eyes. They're usually pretty nice and bright and white in their eyes. Whoops. So I'm going to leave that for a minute now. Uh, walking Dead. Yes, there's 10 seasons of zombies, but I haven't watched all those. I haven't watched it in, I don't know, when, what season did they kill off Glenn? I, don't, I mean, you won't know, Eileen, because you don't watch it, but whatever season that was. <laughs> that's when I stopped watching it. Okay, now I'm going to get in here with my pan pastels. Let's go ahead and do that. So I do, let me show you the colors that I picked. I didn't know if I was going to use them for her eyes. I can still probably try to get in a little bit of blue, but, you know, it's hard to get in those little bitty spaces, even with the smallest tool, which is, by the way, this is the smallest one. And uh, and I always, um, I blend everything on sponges that, you know, you can buy. This is all, it's called soft. I keep one piece of the, this is the, the information. It's S-O-F-F-T. Um, and it is not like makeup sponges. This is not like makeup sponges. This is not like makeup sponges. The little tools, the different, um, the different applicators. It is not like a makeup sponge. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> it is not. Um, season five is when they cleaned, cleaned, killed off Glenn. Well, that was the last time I watched it. So anyway, um, I blend on these. Uh, I've, I've been after Bernadette, the owner of uh, Pan Pastels, to make us a palette using this stuff. Just to, you know, only maybe a five by five, six by six, something to do your blending on. Uh, so in the meantime, I use these sponges. Uh, again, there's different kinds of tool sizes, you know, depending on how big or how uh, your biggest area that you use. There's this size here. Um, and then you just replace these. You, you don't need to replace here. Let me go ahead and do one just so you can see. You just take the little sponges off and replace. You don't have to replace the handle unless, unless you just don't like switching things out. But just to be, you know, to be honest, you don't. As long as you just have a paper towel handy, which I need to get one, you can wipe off the excess with a um, on a paper towel. And you know, I've never washed mine. I wear them out before I, I need to wash them. Get a paper towel here. <clears throat> So you can just clean your tools off with on the on a paper towel. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I've drawn, I think this is the fifth, fifth grandchild I've drawn for this customer. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Um, I'll just let me just pick up a little blue just and see how little look. You don't it just it's so highly pigmented. So I always talk about this on uh, I always talk about this on uh, my show that pan pastels, they run about, I don't know, between six and seven dollars a, a, a jar and you can buy them individually and they have lids on the top. I, I have the trays. Let me get one here. I have all the trays like this with all the colors. You don't have to have all that, uh, especially if you like mix, mix colors. Okay. Uh, but you can buy them individually. They have lids on them when you buy them individually. You can also stack them. I do not like the idea of doing this because you can't see the colors. You can barely see them. I just don't like even the thought of stacking them all up. 
Um, but anyway, they're like, I don't know, six to seven dollars. And I know you can get Blick sales and different things like that. And um, let's see. It's, it is since that this customer likes you share the process. Yeah, he doesn't. He, he posts them. He lets me post them on Facebook. He posts his grandchildren on Facebook. He doesn't care. I mean, he's not like he doesn't mind. He'll probably go show this to his family, this video. <laughs> but anyway, um, it, you use, they're so highly pigmented and concentrated. You just use so little. You, I don't think you would ever run out of one of these if you're just doing portraits and some small landscapes. Now, if you're doing huge posters or something like that, which I can't even imagine using pan pastels for that kind of work uh but they're so pigmented and concentrated you won't ever have to replace them so even if you just buy a few at a time i would recommend getting a portrait set um and maybe a you know a couple other colors to start with and see if you like it and practice especially if you do color books you've seen how many different ones we've done i won't pull them out right now because we're not getting very far on this are we <laughs> Hi, Nanamo. Oh, thank you. And um, but if you want to do it in color books, you don't have to do portraits. You can practice and enjoy pan pastels in your color book um, pictures, faces, right? Okay, so now I want to start with um, let me go ahead and well, I was gonna say let me put some the red down on her shirt. I would probably do that if I was gonna paint it in, but I don't want to have my hand rubbing in the red. So let's go ahead and just start with a nice peach color here. Let me get my <clears throat> one of my sponges. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put some peach, maybe a little pink. She's very pinky peach, very pinky peach little girl. And we'll just see, probably a little white on there, lighten it up just a little. And so if you blend, don't try to do all this blend. Well, I don't want to say don't ever, don't, you know. For me, it's much easier to blend on one of the sponges than it is to try to put all those three colors down in one spot and try to blend it. So if I want this color, if I want this pink, peach, white, if and I, I had to do all that on her face, it would be a lot harder than just doing it on the sponge and getting those colors on there. And you just got to kind of test and see, because, you know, I am looking at my reference here. So I just want to get, and her skin, she has very, um, you know, baby fine hairs here. And so her skin pokes through or show, shines through her bangs and some of her forehead up here, right? So, and this is just a base, you know, and it's going to be a lot of layers and a lot of, um, uh, you know, more pencil on there as well. But I'm just going to get the base on here. Now it, Now I'm coming down here, and this part of her, in this part of her uh, forehead is more pink. And I'm looking at my reference <clears throat> and, and matching the colors based on the, the picture. I'll try to show you all the picture again. Here we go. <clears throat> Without it flashing. Okay, so this is what I'm working for from. Look at those blue eyes. It, see, it's not, it's even... There you, I can't even get them any closer, but yeah. Let's see if I can get the light back. There we go. So Heidi, buddy, I missed. Yeah, she's is a cutie. The, he, he has he has gorgeous grandchildren. All of them are just saying they're all gorgeous. All right, so on a little bit more pink again, right in here. And where I have the white from the pencil, I can also go over that because they pl pencil and pan pastels play nicely together. So I just want to get a little bit of this pinky peach color on here. And I can go back and, and pick out those highlights again with the white. <clears throat> and you do have to spray. You do have to fixative pan pastels. So I'm just kind of 
blocking in some of the color. So you do have to fix a tivet. I have a peach color, so I'm using the pink and the kind of the orangey color and some white, depending on where, if I need it lighter. A little pink, maybe just a touch of red, just to get that a little bit brighter pink right here in our little cheeks, right in here. Okay, so it's just a, a matter of... Uh, it's just a matter of uh, building it up slowly. Okay, a little more of the peach. So it's not like I can say, okay, pick up color number so-and-so and put down so-and-so because it's every single face is always going to be different, right? So there's no formula. I can't say this is the this is the face color. This is the you know hair color. It does it just doesn't work that way. All right, anything going on in chat? Did I miss anything? If anybody wants to repeat anything that they said that I missed. All right, so now I'm going to just get some white here and kind of pick out back over some of my highlights. I don't want to lose some of these nice brights. So let's just go ahead and do that. I don't want to lose some of this. But I picked out the whites with the pencil, and now I can go over it. And, of course, then I can go back over it again with pencil as well. You can go back and forth between the pencil and the uh, pan pastels. Now, once you, once you spray it, there's, you know, if you want to erase anything, you're, you, can't, you have to do any erasing before you spray it. Once you spray it, it's set because I use a final fixative. But... Uh, so it's very light at first. And again, it might even be, might have, I might even have it a little too light. Let's see here. Let me turn my light down just a tad. It's a little better. I don't want to get too dark though, because then I go back and watch my videos and I think, well, is I sitting in the dark? Uh, you know, <laughs> but that's that's pretty accurate looking at my camera to here. Um My channel name, Dee Dee Willingham or Inky Well, I-N-K-I-W-E-L-L. -L. Either one, you'll find it, Inky Well or Dee Dee Willingham, either one. And thank you for following or thank you for subbing. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go in here and pick out some of my highlights again. And as you go, as you add other colors, you know, things, you know, where pastel might fall or lay down or get around on top of uh, other things, other colors. It can start getting dark. So you got to kind of watch that. You, you can lose the lights pretty easy um, just, just from the sheer fact of all the colors you're using. Okay, so let's just do that a little bit more here. Just kind of going back and kind of picking them out again. I don't know. Can you, let's see if I tilt it now. The color's a little, the colors are very light, but I can, it's a little darker on my end. <clears throat> so. Thanks, Shelly. I use Grumbacher Final Fixative. Uh, it's not a natural one. Some people can't do uh, the real fixatives, and I got to admit, I do not like the smell of fixatives. But I like the, the way the Grumbacher Final Fixative works, so I use it. And I, I take it outside. I do use it outside. Here, I'll show y'all. Let me show you the different ones here. Okay. 
<clears throat> okay, so and Kitty's here, so I'll show you that too. Um, so this is what I use. There is a workable fixative, Grumbacher workable fixative that to me smells more than the final fixative. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, this is, uh, it's called final fixative, Grumbacher final fixative. You shake it up really well. You just mist it over outside. It's just a regular spray like this. Do it outside. It's very heavily, it smells really strong. The other one that people always talk about in the pan pastel community is Spectrafix. Now, my problem with Spectrafix is I can't get it to work like I want, even though Kenny sent me one of these makeup misters. Don't try to use this with the pump. It's just a pump spray. If you do that, you're going to have splatters and you really need to practice. If you're going to use an alternative to the, the aerosol, if you're going to use a pump kind or even this mister, which you only pull once, pull it once and it sends out a mist. And it does do that. But to me, this does not set it as well. I can still, and I've, and I've even put two layers of, of it on and maybe I'm just not doing it right <laughs> but I've even put two layers of this on and I can still pick up the pan pastel so I don't know maybe I'm not putting enough maybe it needs more coats but I, I just can't get used to the pumps action of it <laughs> so anyway I, I'll, I use it for other things like I'll use it in a color book or something like that. I'll use it on a color book because you know that is, it's an it sets it enough just so I can close the book, so I can close a color book page. But on my portraits, my commissions, I want it set really well, so I use this. So yeah. Uh, if I just did all like all those pencil, all those pencil uh, portraits you saw, no fixative on pencil. I put no fixative on pencils. Maybe it's due to the type of paper. And I don't know. Maybe, Gail. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so, you know, it's you, you got to find what works for you, right? You got to find what works for you. So now I'm just going to kind of going back over some of the pencil here. And um, with the my white. Let's go ahead and work up here in her hair a little bit. So these areas are really very very white light light the, and i also like to put highlights around the around the, the person i like to have a nice glow like you know saying like that i like to have a nice uh and you know one thing's about hair you don't you know unless you unless you got someone that says i want every exact hair which i've never had i've never had anybody say i want every exact hair and um, so anyway, on my commissions, uh, pet or people, I do the work and I do, uh, they don't have to, you don't have to pay me if, if you're commissioned by me, unless you like the work. If you don't like it, you don't have to pay, but I keep it, <laughs> right? So I get to keep the work. I've never had anybody not like it and not buy it. So um but that's just kind of my rule so that uh, nobody ever has to feel like, oh, I don't, I don't like that. I don't, you know, it doesn't look like them um, or I don't want it. Well, you don't have to buy it. I'll keep it. But uh, I've never had that happen that I can remember. <laughs> so. <clears throat> But anyway, so you can see it's just building it up slow. And it is, I can see more color than it than looks on the camera. Even though I did darken it down a little, it's still not as much. Um, it's not as much. Uh, all right, now I'm going to get some pink and some red. Just a touch of red, just to get a little bit darker pink to do our lips. Just a little bit darker. Yeah, the DD guarantee. <laughs> all right, let me zoom in. Now, again, I'm just going to kind of put... A little bit of color on her lips and then I'll do the bulk of it with pencil because it's very tiny right her it's very tiny and I only can get in there with this so I really just really want a base on there and then the rest will be um, pencil <sighs> 
again, very light. Let me go ahead and work on, let me get some colors out. Um, and I'm just working out, I have trays, I have um, pencil cases full of Prismacolors. I have extra ones in in bundles because Prismacolors like my, you know, I love my other pencils. Don't get me wrong. My Polychromos, my Luminance, my Holbeins, my Holbies, my Holbies, Lumies, and Polys. <laughs> but the, the Prismacolor are like my old friends just because I've used them for, dare we say, how many years, Janet? <laughs> But anyway, um, so it's just that I'm so used to them. So right now I'm working out of the trays. And when Denise works, I know I said this a hundred times, I can't ever not say it because it's just so funny. When Denise came and was um, a couple of years ago and we were going to do a color book page together. And um, <laughs> we're going to do a color book page together. And so I said, well, here, here's some pencils, lots of colors. And she goes, oh, look at all these colors. And she started using all the colors here out of the two trays. Because I have this one has just basic colors. And then I have my trays of skin tones and neutrals. <laughs> and then someone said, well, can I see your luminance or something? So she, I guess she didn't notice that I have over here one, two, three, four five, six, I have eight pencil cases sitting us over the side with the different brands in them. And I said, oh, you mean these pencils right here or whatever brand it was at the time? I said, you mean these? And she goes, what? What are all these cases of pencils? You've been sticking me with the crap pencils in the silverware tray? <laughs> <laughs> She'll never live that one down, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna dig dig around here in my um let's do a little ASMR moment. So I'm gonna need my Tuscan red. I think I'm gonna need just a tiny bit of a lavender. She has a little bit of lavender in her lips. And then I think here my peach, no, I need, I was going to say peach, but I think I need pink, actual pink. I know I got a pink in here. It must be over here in the neutrals. No, I think, you know what? I'm going to use, I think I'm going to go with my henna. Henna is one of those colors I go to all the time. Henna, slate blue. I'm not telling you to use those colors for everything. I'm just saying there's some of the colors that I go to all the time. I can't find my pink. I might have to get out one of the pencil cases. Oh, here's one. Okay. All right. So, no, is that pink? Mm, pink enough. All right. So, I'm going to sharpen all these real quick in my little sharpener here. <laughs> I know me too, Nanomo. It makes me laugh every time I think about it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was going to say I was going to say 50 years, Jana, but maybe maybe we're not that old. Maybe it's only been 45 years. Although I know I did a I did a piece for mom when I was 10. It has to be 50 years, Janet. Don't lie. Janet, you've been using them for 50 years too. I know you have. <laughs> I know, right? All right, which one of these pencil sharpeners is not working for me? Let me go back to let me go to this one. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot to ask mom when she, when, when she was here, if she still has that little, she had it framed in her house forever. There's a little picture of a bunny in a mushroom garden that I did year, you know, years and years and years ago. No, oh, I think they're sharpened enough. Okay. Um, and she had a frame for the longest time, but she's moved two or three times a couple of times since then. So I don't know if she still has it anywhere. Okay, so you were 18 when you first used them. See, I was about 10. And I'm I'm sure it was just a set of like 12 pencils, Janet, the smallest set. And there weren't the Eagle brand. Let's see, what was it after Eagle? Barrel? So they would have been Barrel. Then they went to Sanford. Then they went to Premier. Then they changed the, to Mexico to the States and back and forth. But anyway, they've gone through a lot of re renditions, <laughs> reiterations. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh yeah, the the barrel ones are the best. I mean, I have a few barrel ones uh, still in here somewhere, just because over the years I've still kept some. Although when they got to be nubs, Cam loved. You know, I told you he keeps all the little pencil nubs in a big jar, so he has uh, he has quite a few of um, he has quite a few nubs barrel barrel nubs. All right, so shh. Sh I gotta concentrate just for a minute. Do I need? Let me see. I can zoom in. Let me if I zoom in. I know it, it gets. We lose some clarity when we zoom in, but you can maybe see, there. A little bit of the color popped out a little better. You have your barrels under lock and key. <laughs> I hear you, Eileen. I need to go uh, one of these days. I need to go on uh, eBay and find a, another old set. It's just that I don't need any. You know what I mean? I don't need any. I have so many pencils. So it's like, do I really need to go buy some barrels just because I like them? You know what I mean? Because you know, when you have so many. <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of. Get our little lips. Get our little lips right here. And then I want the henna. Let me sharpen that. I didn't get quite sharp enough. Don't use them. <laughs> what do you don't use them? Color, you have some and you don't use them. Kalora does awesome uh, pencil work as well. Follow her on Instagram, people. Get her little dimple in there. Get that little dimple in there. This side, too. Get that little dimple in there. I'm kind of blowing that in. All right, now let's go back in here. I need a white top lip. And Laura's here too, Laura. Laura no, Laura, do you, have, do you uh, is pencil your first love? I don't want to put words in your mouth. What's your first love, Laura, of coloring? Or or did you did you start with one thing and moved on to the other? Laura still, yeah, there she is. I don't use them much either, Becky. I pet them. Oh, you have the barrels and you just pet them? <laughs> I didn't know what your first love was, Laura, on, on uh, pencils or. And also, guys, don't forget um, when you're doing a portrait or anything that you're drawing that you want it to be very realistic or very correct. Then what you want to do is turn your reference piece over side upside down and your piece, your drawing, turn it upside down and look at the reference and you will see, you'll see immediately. I'm going to do that right here. I'm going to set this, set this down and you'll see immediately any place that you need to fix or shade or even color. You'll see it immediately. Something that's wrong. Or not enough shadow, or like I need a little bit more shadow right here. You'll see it immediately. It just stands right out. It's kind of like looking at the camera on a look at the camera while you're streaming, and you'll see. Hey, honey, how's it going? Are we? Do I need to come down and put the salmon in? Yes. Okay. Well, potatoes have been in exactly one hour. Okay. Well, then I need. Well, the salmon only takes twenty minutes. Okay. So um, at two, I'll stream until two, and then I'll come put the salmon in. Okay. So I got a little far here. Looks good. Thank you. How do you do that upside down? Well, that's why I'm, I, I'm just talking about it. Yeah. You turn it upside down so that you can see any mistakes or uh, anything that you need, because your eye will be fooled and yeah. you think you won't be looking at, oh, that's the top lip, that's the bottom lip. You'll be looking at, oh, what's wrong with that? Like right now I can see. 
that this lip, the top lip needs to be a little lighter. Great job on the eyes. Thank you. I'm still really working good. it. Okay. Okay, honey. See it too. Okay, I see it too. <laughs> Hey, and he and he and Hubster said hi, everybody. So see, now I can look at it and see any little flaw. Of course, I haven't done much, you know, other anything yet to really, you know, be concerned about. I'm just really got a lot blocked in. But because I'm putting, you know, doing her lips a little bit, I want to make sure I got the little pouting um, Janet. He's already gone, Janet. <laughs> So anyway, and this one's kind of a little more coming down just a little. This comes up just a little. Very dip, like a little bow, a little bow there. All right. So yeah, I got about 15 minutes and then I got to go cook. Got to go cook for the hubster. He wants that salmon. Oh, thanks, Pamela. Uh, and says, today's not my normal stream day. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get in here with, I think I'll go ahead and get in here with my henna and just start getting a little bit picked out on the eyebrows. Her eyebrows, she's going to, you know, she has blonde, very blonde hair. So her eyebrows are very, you cannot even see them. But what you can see, they're just almost tan color. They're just a little bit of tan color. And a couple of hints when you're doing portraits, and I don't know if Laura wants to address this too, because you all know Laura, Laura's a circle portrait um, color book artist lady <laughs> um, and a portrait artist as well. That um, And she may have things that she sees. I don't know. I'll, I'll ask you, Laura, while you're here. Um, for me, I find that if you get the eyebrows, see, and right now I can see I've got to get this lighter right in here. If you get the eyebrows right and the corners of the mouth right, you can really capture the likeness of the person. Not that the rest doesn't have to be good too, but if you get those two elements just right, you really can capture the person's uh, essence. Do you find that to be true, Laura? Or do you have your own little uh, tip, you know, uh, parts that if you get it just right, make it right for you? Does that make sense? Yeah, you can buy open stock prisms. Let me tell you a couple of hints on buying open stock prismas. You can get them at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Bl Blick. Let me show you a, a tip, though. When you buy open stock Prismas and replace the ones you're buying, look at the end. If the end is not sent, if the lead, I say lead, if the pigment, you know, if it's not centered, do not buy it. Because when you sharpen it, it will break and break and break. You want to make sure, let me see if I have any here that are a little off. I'm pretty careful about, these are all good. Let me see if I can find one that's not. So I can give y'all a okay. This one. Well, that one's just got some crap on it, so I can't tell for sure. Maybe this one's not exactly perfect. And all right, maybe you can tell. Let me hold it right there. All right, see how that's not perfectly centered? It's not terrible. Sometimes you'll get them when they're really, really off center. And when you have them not centered, this one's perfectly centered. If you have them not centered, when you sharpen them, they're going to break in all weird, weird ways. So always check when you buy an open stock. Now, if you buy the boxes, if you buy them in boxes, you just take your chances. You hope that whoever packed them, <laughs> that you got a good, oh, is this a one? Okay, here's a good one. Now, look, it's a nub. This is probably a nub because I've had to sharpen it so many times. And do you know why I had to sharpen this so many times? Look at that. Look at that. See how off center that is? <laughs> this is why this one's a nub. <laughs> Can y'all see? See how that's not centered? Here's one that's centered. It's be That's why this one ended up being a nub. <laughs> Okay, what did Laura say? I missed her answer. I wanted to see. 
the eyebrows, face shape, and hairline for her. Okay. See, for me, it is, for me, it's the eyebrows and the corners of the mouth. But yeah. So anyway, it is a nubby. So anyway, uh, if you buy open stock and you come across one of these, I even told the guy at Blick one time, this was a couple years ago, I think. And I was buying a few open stock colors. And I said, can I show you something? He goes, sure. You know, they're real helpful at my Blick anyway. I love my Blick in downtown Atlanta. Um, I said, look at this. I said, do you notice anything on these? And he goes, well, no. I said, look at the ends. And, and, and he saw. He saw that they were off. They weren't centered. And I said, when you sharpen those, they're going to keep breaking and breaking and breaking. So anytime <laughs> you buy open stock, and I buy a lot of white, um, henna, some of the reds, Tuscan red. There's certain colors that I buy more than others, and I've run out of more. White especially. I go through a lot of white because uh, of the highlights and stuff. And so always make sure that you have a centered, uh, a centered uh, core. Okay, let's see. All right, so I think I'm going to get in here with now my, um, my henna again. And let's just get a little more of that nostril. <clears throat> and just a tiny bit more in the corner of the eye. The little corner is a little more. Same for this side, a little bit more. And see, these are the tiny details that you really cannot get with the, well, maybe some professional pan pastel people can get in there that perfect, that, that tiny. I can't, I can't get in there that tiny with, uh, with uh, pan pastels. I have to have my pencils. All right, so now let's get in here around the eye. And again, if you need a really bright white, then what I do is I'll use my Posca, but I'll like tap it out. I won't leave it real, real harsh. So like if I need a real bright white right around the corner of that eye, then you can kind of like tap it out. Make sure it's, it's not like a harsh line there. But she has very... Uh, bright white right in the corners of her eyes and again that's that's why a lot of uh, girls put white uh, around their eyes like that in uh, makeup if you notice the professional makeup girls they put white in the corners of their eyes like that young people young you know it, the, the light in their eyes on the corner of the eyes is very bright like that and it makes your eyes like sparkle so um, yeah same right there Just a touch, touch under the eyes right there. Just a little bit more highlight because her eyes are so blue. And again, I can knock it back with pencil if I need to. Okay, so that's that's good for now. Like right under here, you know, I got to let that dry because you'll smear it or just... Take it off while it's wet. Oh, thanks everybody for watching. I didn't even notice how many we have a 360 people. Thanks, guys. Yeah, give me some more thumbs up. I appreciate it. So I'm just gonna kind of smooth that out just a little. She has they're not bags under her eyes, they're just like little. It's almost like she looked like she might have been crying. I doubt it, but you know. <laughs> but I'm just saying it almost looks like she could have been like you know, had a little teary moment. And so that gives the, the a child's eyes a little bit of a, I don't want to call them bags under their eyes, but you know, a little bit of shadowing under their eyes like that. So I'm just kind of going in here with the pencil now. And you can go back and forth between the pencil and your pan pastels as much as you want. So I'm just going to start doing a little bit of shading, a little bit up here in the eyebrow again. 
and all and like I said, turn it upside down. I like if they're little eyebrows, if they have a little place that almost turns up, she you can't even see the individual hairs on hers. Um, but don't don't think, oh well, eyebrows don't do that. There's not eyebrows don't have a turn up right there, or they don't have a flip up over there. Don't don't reason it away. Don't reason those shapes away. That's why you turn it upside down. Because when you turn it upside down, you will notice immediately. Oh, well, what's wrong with that? Well, you didn't think that little hair flicked up right there. <laughs> and it does, you know, and that will make a difference. Hi, Vonnie. I was just commenting uh, earlier on, I love your new, uh, I love your new uh, avatar picture. Well, it's your picture, your photograph that you put of yourself on uh, Twitter. It's a be your beautiful picture. It's a, a, really a gorgeous picture. I think your account's private, so I won't show it here unless you let me. But um, if Vonnie will let me show uh, the picture, her Twitter picture. Oh, I don't want to get that too dark under there. It's not quite that dark. Let's lighten that back up. <clears throat> Can I show your picture, Vonnie? Or if you don't want me to, I won't. Because I don't know. I don't remember if your tweets are protected or not. I mean, I'm not going to show your tweets, but your picture. <clears throat> waiting, waiting, waiting to see what she says. <laughs> so you just got to kind of take your time and just work it slow. All right. I want to smooth out my Posco just a little bit. Bit more right in there. And then I'll put her eyelashes on here in just a minute. Vonnie, are you going to answer me? Heavens, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a gorgeous picture. Well, if you follow Vaughn on uh, Twitter, then go make sure you notice her her avatar picture. She has a she ha put a real face in there, and she's she's beautiful. But she doesn't want me to show it. I won't. Okay, now let's see. Let me go back in here. On the white, it's just the tiniest bit of a highlight cutting into her eyes there. It's just the smallest little highlight cutting into the, into, I don't want to lose that. And that's important. See how that made her little eyes a little bit more sparkle? Oh, thank you. I know, isn't she? This is a commission. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else do I want to do? She has a little bit more of a dip in here. Let me let me kind of fix that with the hot with the Posca. Her little lip does dip just a little more there. And I'll, as soon as it dries, I can go in there and go over that. I won't leave it that I won't leave it that stark. But she does have a real bow in her little lip there. But once it dries, I can go over that. Right, I can go over that, just knock it back just a little bit with peach. Uh, I know, right, Shauna? Thanks, Nanamo. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead. She, her, she has black eyelashes. And uh, like I said, she has black. I'm going to fix a little bit more of the roundness to her. I mean, her eyes are just solid black around. They're just like a black outline around her eyes. Let me get her pupils in there just right. And then I'm going to put her... Now, you, she doesn't have long lashes. She, you only can see like a couple. You know, because they're very short, little baby lashes. And they're really just above, just above the irises themselves. They don't go like flipping off on the ends like, you know, we would do. Uh, with makeup just a little tiny indication oh, let's see if you can see that. okay all right let's go back in here with a little bit more barely t 
touch it like barely. This is when I'm in my head going shh, shh, shh. And again, you can go back and forth between pan pastels or pencils, depending on how how tight you think you can get in there with uh, pan pastels. Or if you get to an edge, like, oh, let me see if I can give an example. Um, all right, so maybe, well, I'm not quite down in there. I need a little bit of blue under, under her skin there. A little bit of blue is in there. <clears throat> okay, so if you get too much of a dark color that you don't like, then we can go back in here with our where's my sponge. Our colors here. Blend on the sponge, and then you can get in here and soften any areas that you think need softening. Need a little bit more light in under here. So you see, you just got to keep building it up and smoothing it out and feathering it out and going back and forth between the pencil and the the pencil and the uh, pan pastels. And I know there's not a lot to the face yet. But as you can see, it's a process. You got to build it up slowly. You got to build it up slowly. But anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to have to probably go. Let me back up so you can get a better perspective of the whole thing. So I'm zoomed in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14 times. I zoomed in 14 times. Now I'll zoom back in some just so you can kind of get a better. So let me show you the picture. Let me turn, let me turn down the light on the iPad so you can see it a little better because the light will. Okay. So here's what I'm working from. And this is what we got so far. And again, lots more to go, but I am happy with the eyes. I am happy with the eyes. So hopefully you guys got a little bit out of this. It's, again, not uh, near done. Not near done, but uh, I thought I'd work on it a little bit. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i work on it again later after I eat, but then I'll probably be watching Xandra while I'm working on it. I think Xandra comes on. Hi, Kathy B. Um Thank you, Laura. I think uh, I think Xander comes on at 4, 4.30. Maybe one of y'all know. But that Scraps to Beauty, Xandra, and she's been doing all this kind of fancy mermaid powdery stuff. <laughs> I'm not sure what. Eileen probably has all of it in her stash. But, uh, <laughs> oh, she's not streaming? How come? Is she okay? 
is she okay? Well, while I'm sitting here though, let me let me go ahead and fix that lip because remember I wanted I just wanted that white on there just to get that little bow in there, but I want to I don't want it too I don't want it too harsh. I want to knock that back. I might have knocked it back too much now. I have to go back in there, put it back in. But uh, yeah. She isn't well. Oh, okay. I hope she feels better. Thank you, Zucchini Kitty. Yeah, just started. Let me hold up so you can see the eyes kind of close up there. See, the skin is not done, but you can kind of see the eyes there. We're working it. Just got to keep building it up little by little. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go and uh, make some food for the hubster. <laughs> And thanks, everybody, for stopping in for, uh, what, a uh, couple hours. I think we have almost 500 people here today. Thank you, everyone. Leave a thumbs up on your way out the door. <laughs> and, again, uh, let me show you real quick because uh, some of y'all may have not seen it. I did show uh, the new art journaling magazine, Our Packer Die, um, is in here. And this issue, the January-February issue, 90, I think it was 92, 94. And so she has like six pages in here. What page was it? Where did it go? Okay. No, no, no. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Let me find her. Let me look it up in the front again. I thought I had it, but I guess not. So uh, if you want to support her, uh, 94. And uh, in, in, uh, she's been in it a few times. She's been in it a few times in the art journaling magazine. And uh, so she, yeah, I think there's six pages all total of her article, her artwork, her tips. So, uh, and of course, art journaling magazines are all around awesome anyway. So I'm, I might keep this for a month and then give it away. Yeah, you know, I can't give it to you the first week because I want to read it too. But you all know I've got so many of these. I end up usually giving a lot of them away. But I want to read it first. So don't be waiting on buying it because Diane's in there. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Y'all have an awesome day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. My usual stream time. My usual stream time is uh, 9 in the morning. Mondays and Wednesdays are my scheduled stream times. 9 a.m. Eastern. Although I come on about 8.30 just to do a little chat and say good morning to everybody before we get crack a uh, I will post a picture of this in progress, a whip work in progress. I'll post that for you now because I've obviously it's got some more hours to go. But just so you can see how it's going. All right, guys. Y'all have a great afternoon and we'll see you in the morning. Bye.